Beautiful Virgo, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, I've already spread the cards and I'm going to see what's coming for you here at the end of October going into the 1st of November. I'm having my afternoon coffee kind of late. You can see it's dark out <laughs> um, with you all. And I wanted to just see what's coming. And also I want to tell you I'm starting a new membership program. There's going to be the sunny yellow and heart chakra green membership um, memberships available. And you can go to the community tab on my channel. So if you click on my channel, you'll see videos, shorts, all these things, little tabs at the top. And over here there's community. So click community and you can find out all about it. I'd love to have you. I'll be doing special readings for members only plus a lot of other perks. So you can check it out. It's going to start. It started now, but I'm actually going to start kind of launch it this coming weekend. Okay. All right. Let's see what's coming, Virgo. I feel happy energy for you all. <laughs> I'm going to pull these and then I'm going to do some clarification, get you more details. Okay. Virgo. What's happening? Oh, that one too. Okay. What's happening with Virgo? A lot. <laughs> a lot's happening with Virgo. Hmm. Virgo. Virgo energy. Okay. Let's see what's coming, Virgo. Let's turn them over. Wow. I knew this was happy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Virgo, this is awesome. Wait till I tell you. Gosh, this is so good. Okay. So let me just get these settled. All right. <laughs> You're going to love this. All right. First card I've got here is the card of the flowers. Okay. And this is having to do with gifts and romance and somebody bringing you um, some sort of special feeling you know this has to do with special feelings of romance and love this is what's most significant going on for you right now Virgo so either you're in love at this time and you're probably in love with this person right here the man guard um, for a lot of you watching now feel free to adjust the roles depending on who's watching this could be a female but I read the cards as they come up and it looks like there is romance here from this man, okay? Bringing you a gift, maybe bringing you flowers, okay? For some special occasion. I feel like there's something like that happening. This man um, is very, very special. He has a lot of um, culture. There's something about culture with him and being very wise. He's very smart and he's always on time. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, there's something about time with him and he can be for some of you a time traveler you may notice that he has unusual skills and abilities and um, I know that sounds crazy but there are time travelers and he may be one for some of you he's coming up a little bit in the conflict position that could be a conflict for some of you um, I don't know let me know in the comments really interesting he has a lot of insights and he, he sees into the future. You can see him looking into the future, like he's already charting the future with you romantically. And I feel like he came to find you in some way, like he sought you out, like he saw you and he came to find you from wherever he was before. I feel like that sort of thing with him. Maybe in the springtime as shown in this card, okay? There's probably more about him, but um, you know, and I feel like he's dressed up for some special occasion. Again, the flowers and the special occasion. There's something about something really special and romance showing up. And people are all a chatter about this. <laughs> They're all talking about like, did you see what Virgo did? Did you see who Virgo's with? Did you see this guy? <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of people like noticing you at this time and they're kind of celebrating you and again this is something to do with um, something that maybe started in the springtime because this is um, I guess this is azaleas or dogwoods on these branches that may mean something to some of you depending on where you're located so there's something really important here and these birds are also messengers so they're bringing in some sort of um, messages about all this love 
and they might be talking about coming to a love celebration. Maybe they're coming to your wedding. This could be wedding flowers for some of you and that sort of thing. This is so good, Virgo. I can't wait to tell you the rest of this. It's so exciting. The sun card is coming up. Now this is um, happiness, a lot of happiness and a lot of warmth in the relationship. And this can be a marriage card as well. Seeing a lot, I'm feeling a lot of marriage for some of you. You know, for some of you, you're definitely on a marriage path here. And um, this is some kind of a trip, potentially. You can see the road there, trip taking you into a warm place. Some of you might be going on a romantic trip. And people are talking about it. Do you know where Virgo's going? <laughs> Do you hear where she's going with that guy? <laughs> you know, there's something like that, Virgo, that I feel like is coming up. And again, take it as it resonates. You know, it could be a female um, figure. I just read the cards as they come up. So, but there's really happiness and warmth here um, showing up. I feel like people are really happy for you as well. You know, like your friends. Your friends are really happy for you. You are in the situation of this flowing tree of life energy right now. I feel like your life is just flowing and you are feeling maybe more alive than you felt in years, some of you, because of this romance and this spiritual love that's happening. This is also you either living in a place or you're going to live in a place or you're going on a trip to a place that is out in nature of some sort and it's very spiritual. I feel like it, it has a very spiritual connection and a feel in that way where it really connects you to higher realms in some way, okay? Um, and it's, it's flowing. It, you can see all the water in this card it's like flowing energy, you know, flowing love energy, heart energy, that sort of thing. Now, coming up in the near future, some of you might be dealing with some sort of government agency. This is the tower, but in this deck, the tower is not like in the regular tarot cards. Um, if you're getting married, you might be going to a courthouse. You know, it could represent something like that. Um, it can also represent some sort of a... I'm getting the goosebumps right now. I think that is what it is for some of you. Isn't that crazy? Um, this can also be some sort of a, a tower or a castle. Maybe on this trip I see some of you going on, you might be visiting castles or seeing these old um, buildings of architecture, you know, up on a hillside, you know, that sort of look. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Some sort of a lookout. I also feel like this is some sort of a lookout tower in some way, you know, seeing far. And it's interesting, it's like I keep seeing this man looking off into the future or looking off into the distance and maybe he's standing up on this lookout tower on this trip. I don't know, there's some connection with that coming up, but that's not a bad card, okay, in this deck. It's not a bad card. None of these are, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I think you're going on a trip. Here's the boat card or the ship card and I feel like you are just sailing along the wind is Under your sails and this is just all going very well. It's headed in a very good direction I feel like you might be spending time um, on a beach or near water. You might be going to um, I keep feeling like you're going on some kind of a trip. You might be going on a cruise some of you Okay shown in the ship card there's something really special about water and ocean and um, movement and flow of energy, you know, with this tree of life and all the water. The water and the sun really um, are jumping out at me in this reading so far. And anything that was negative in your life before, you're leaving it behind. This is the storm cloud. You're leaving this behind and moving into a much more peaceful time frame than what you were in before. I feel like some of you felt like you were in this storm all the time with this dark cloud hanging over you and all this has changed. You're leaving this behind, okay? So let's get some more details, <laughs> Virgo. This is so good. I'm just like so happy for you all. What does What else does Virgo need to know? I'm like one big goosebumps right now. <laughs> Okay, let's see Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? I like to pull these by feel as well. There's the Six of Pentacles. There is a gift. There's some kind of a gift coming to you. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me get one more. Okay, we're going to start with this. Okay, put this over there. Wow, okay. So you are getting some sort of a gift. And, you know, again, this is the gift card. The flowers represent gifts. This is something uh, where somebody is, this could be money coming to you, gift of money, because it is a Pentacles card. So some sort of gift It's really good. And it's right next to the card of Ace of Swords. So some of you went through some kind of situation of adversity and you've gotten rid of it. You cut that out of your life. And it's almost like out of some bad situation, all of this good came out of it, <laughs> you know? It just turned around to your favor once whatever this was was cut out of your life. And you can see the dove of peace. You're in a much more peaceful time period now too, and a much more spiritual kind of setting. I feel like whatever you were in before that you cut out was not, was not spiritual, because I keep seeing spiritual love with this, especially when I picked up this was a time traveler. I feel like this is, Somebody, you know, it makes me think of that movie somewhere in time, like it's the spiritual love that just, um, you know, transcended all the time, you know, just transcended everything. And I feel like that's how this is for you, Virgo. This is a love that is such a soulmate, it's such a soulmate love for you. Okay. So let me show you what else. Where do you see this? The sun card again. <laughs> Best card in the deck came up in both decks for you. Look at that. Double suns. Double. First of all, it's um, unusual for the same cards to come up. <laughs> you know, they're really validating. Yeah, they're going someplace warm and there's a lot of happiness and this represents, this can represent marriage and family and just happiness of all sorts. Any kind of happiness that you want, here it is. And this came up a second time and it's right next to you receiving a gift and you cut something out of your life to get it. You had to walk away from something hard. You went through some kind of adversity for sure for that card to show up. But now you've got double suns. This is really, really interesting. Okay. And this is so interesting. So you were in a situation before Virgo and somebody <clears throat> was competing with you. You may or may not have known who this was, and there may have been more than one. Look at all these people competing, um, battling, and I feel like that was the adversity that you went through. You went through a competitive situation, um, like you were being triangulated, you were being gaslighted by probably multiple people you didn't even know were gaslighting you. I feel like there were so many people behind the scenes because the high priest is showing up right next to this, which can be hidden secrets. And it can also be intuition. And I feel like you were using your intuition and it was lighting your way, but there was a lot of deception in a previous situation for you um, with all that adversity. Here's your adversaries. They were competing with you, okay? But look where you are now. <laughs> so um, that went well. That went well for you. Okay, so let's see what else, Virgo. Okay. Um, opportunity or windfall. This is you. Opportunity or windfall. Okay. And that can be in love or money or anything else that you want. And look at this. Here's the karma card. You will reap what you have sown. Think about that with these adversaries. Talk about some bad karma. <laughs> and look at the good karma that you are receiving right now with all this love and these gifts and people noticing you and all these things, this journey I see you on, the spiritual love. Good karma there, Virgo. Really, really good karma. <laughs> I feel like you went through something that really helped you transform your energy. Okay, here is dealings or relationship with a younger man for some of you. Let's see what else they want to say about that. Um, there's great happiness. <laughs> there's great happiness in this. 
and also the sun again with all the birds flying around it looks like a beach card again there's a lot here about beach and ocean and things like that warmth well I'm trying to get to this one um, somewhere along the line there was a misunderstanding that's the wall card uh, misunderstanding and dealings or relationship with a man so this is a different man because they gave me the younger man and happiness and there was a misunderstanding with another man potentially career and an arrow you were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life let me switch over to this part of the deck why do they give give us that other man card I can guess it was probably the triangulating one but let me see um, a distant friend is thinking about you that's probably this man card and the whoever you had the mis misunderstanding with what else Virgo There's um, trouble and accusations around this misunderstanding and dealings with the man. What else, Virgo? <clears throat> it says, pay attention to your work. Pay attention to your work. Career, yeah, career. Um, and there's dealings with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair with this man. Um, hmm. So I feel like these, I feel like you were dealing with these two. I mean, unless this one is you and you'll know if you're seeing this, but there was some kind of a misunderstanding supposedly. Let's see what else. <clears throat> that may have been what the man was saying or the woman. Oh, it's just a misunderstanding. <clears throat> Based on these other cards, it was more than a misunderstanding. Um, keep your life in balance and an emotionally secure loving family member is important to you. And keep your life in balance. Emotionally secure, loving family member is important to you. And take care of your material wealth, okay, with your career. It's just saying to pay attention to your career. Let me switch back over to here for a minute. Anything else Virgo needs to know about this situation? Let's see. Oops. Someone will gossip all of all of your secrets. Be careful who you tell any secrets to. And it could have been this couple that I saw earlier. It could have been through that person, one or the other of them. What else? The month of August was very important. Of course, that could have been your uh, birthday month. So this was very important in some way. Somebody didn't get a wish granted, some, something they wanted. I mean, you certainly did. <laughs> um, hidden secrets. Yeah, there were hidden, this is where they're going with this. So there were hidden secrets here with whoever these two were, this dealings with the man, dealings with the woman, the supposed misunderstanding, trouble and accusations. Maybe something took place in the month of August and there were secrets and somebody shared all your secrets. Um, and somebody from a distance, and I feel like they're still thinking about you, Virgo. So they're just trying to jump in and sabotage your reading. I don't want to even go there because you have got so much good stuff. Remember the double suns? The man, the trip, the journey, the spiritual love, and the gifts. This is all where you're at now. That old energy is so jealous of you. I feel like they're still competing with you. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Yeah, still competing with you, but that's okay. You're the high priestess. You are very, very in tune and very much on your path and very intuitive. So you saw through the situation and um, yeah, I don't even want to go there. You've got so much happiness here. It's interesting in readings how this dark energy will jump in and go, oh, talk about me. <laughs> that old narcissistic energy just doesn't want to go away. It's like it wants to still get in there and hang on to Virgo. Um, whatever. We're going to ask Archangel Michael to clear that out because you've got major happiness, double sun energy, gifts, love, everything coming up here, potentially marriage. Um, I want to hear all about all your happiness in the comments. <laughs> so do check out my membership program. Thanks for coming in for your reading today. Um, hope it resonated for you because it was a super happy reading. And um, please do take care and hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>